Now let's take a look back at the story career of Burt Lau. It would be difficult to find someone who drew as much attention to the development of women's athletics as Burt Lyle of Texas Women's University. Lyle was the head track and field coach at Texas Women's from 1967 to 1981, where he led the pioneers to two U.S. Track and Field Federation team titles and three AIAW national championships. With top three national finishes in each of his first seven years of the AIAW, his teams would be among the most dominant in the 15-year history of the organization. Lyle was TWU's athletics director and basketball coach from 75 to 82, coaching an array of superstar athletes, including 80 All-Americans. The old coach, as many have called him, coached participants in every Olympic Games from 1968 to 1988, including his presenter here tonight, gold medalist in the high jump in 1988, Louise Ritter. After retiring from TWU, Lyle was a lecturer at many national and international workshops and was also a writer and researcher in the field of training techniques and video analysis. Lyle also served as the women's sprint and relay coach for the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. As one former athlete said, he could have coached more glamorous sports such as football, but he chose to coach the ladies. We are all better for it and eternally grateful for all he taught us. An Air Force veteran, a University of Texas doctorate holder, a longtime professor, and an advocate for female athletes everywhere, he is Burt Lyle of Texas Women's University, the class of 2010. And receiving the Hall of Fame honor on behalf of Burt Lyle is one of his former athletes. You saw our 88 Olympic high jump gold medalist, Louise Ritter. And making the Hall of Fame presentation to Ritter is a former Lyle athlete as well, Ellen Amerkamp. This is a little tougher for me because I'm usually speaking about myself, and uh, that makes it a little easier, but I'm going to try to do my best to do justice to Dr. Lyle tonight. I got to spend some time with him a couple of weeks ago, and one of the things he asked me to do was to tell all you guys that he's extremely sorry he couldn't be with us tonight. His health is not permitting right now, but he is doing okay, and uh, in that he had a few things he wanted me to say. He first wanted me to thank the United States Track and Field Cross Country Association for all the work they do in the sport. He's honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and he appreciates the recognition. He wanted again to apologize because he couldn't attend this event, but he said he needed to stay home and take care of himself and his little quarterback. He asked that I thank all of his track girls and the student athletes for allowing him to work with them. He wanted his girls to know that they were always a part of his family and he enjoyed every minute of time he had with them. He said those days were glorious and special. He wanted me to say hello and thank all the coaches, trainers, and colleagues that he met and was fortunate enough to, to work with along the way. He said these relationships meant more to him than any accomplishment and they created memories that will last forever with him. He wanted to thank the track girls that are here tonight attending this special event on his behalf. But most of all, he wanted me to say thank you to his lovely wife, Miss Press. He said for putting up with him for so many years, now well over 50. He wanted to thank her for tolerating his travel and the time away from home when the starters guns went up or the committee meetings were called. He said he could not have accomplished what he did without her love support, and patience. As most of you know, the old coach is a man of many words when talking about others, but very few when talking about himself. So I'd like to take a few moments to speak about him. I could talk about all the times that he sat in front of a video, put the video in slow motion and watched it over and over and over again. And then the moment would come when he would find that one instance where he thought he could make the difference between you being a winner or a loser. I could also talk about the long hours that he spent at the track day after day. Or I could tell you about the mornings that he would load all of the track girls in the back of his truck and he would take us outside of town and he would let us off and he would tell us we needed to find our way back. 
But one of the funniest stories I'll tell you about is the day that he showed up at the track and he had discovered that the Russians were using wrestling to develop mental toughness. And lo and behold, that became part of our workout. <laughs> I never told Bert to this day, but I really think there's something to it. So if you coaches are out there and you're not making your girls and boys wrestle for mental toughness, you might want to incorporate in your everyday, everyday workouts. I also wanted to mention how well-respected Dr. Lyle is by his peers. He was the type of coach that other coaches would come to for advice and direction. He is a tireless advocate for women's track and field. Having said that, I wanted to touch on the fact that he chose to coach women in a time when it wasn't the most popular thing to do. Once you became one of Bert's girls, his personal mission was to help you become the best athlete and person you could be. He challenged you to dream big and never, never quit. To this day, his door and his heart is always open to his track and field family. I can go on, on and on about stories with, about Bert, but the most important thing that you should know about him is that he loved coaching, teaching, and being a student of this sport. To this day, when I'm with him, we still talk about all the things that we could have done different and me become a better athlete or other athletes that he has. He still wants to, talk, to learn more about the sport and he still feels like he has a lot to give. In closing, if Dr. Lau were here tonight, he would want you all to know that he had two great loves in his life. His love for women's track and field and his wife, Chris. It is my privilege and honor to accept this award on behalf of the O-Coach. Thank you.